Hello again. Welcome to another my time video. This is a Jack transformation into Pearl from Rupert Drag Race season seven. And Pearl probably have my favorite makeup style out of this season. First, I just do a simple scratch of the crease and where my liner will be since it's very thick liner. Just using any darker brown shade and a thin brow brush. Then I'm moving to the eyeshadow. This is Sleek SC470 palette. First, I'm using the fuchsia color with a big blending brush, and on the inner corner above the curl crease we're doing, and goes down to the back to me where the eyeliner will be, and then I'm blending outward with the pastel purple. Drag it very down, like you see, really, really down to the low lash line, and I'm leaving a little gap between the actual lash line. Then I'm moving to a thin flat shadow brush and using the purple color from Essence palette called Vampy Up. It's a magnet violet color C177742. And just use the color to deepen out the crease, and then using a smaller blending brush, without any product on it, blending out the color. I'm going to mask. There's a camouflage palette and use the lightest color, Star Dust. Highlight the part in between the curl crease and where the eyeliner will be. Then just moving into the eyeliner and using a regular Maybelline gel eyeliner. And just fill in where we sketch the eyeliner. You can see it's rather thick liner and I feel like Pearl's upper liner is Quite similar to how Raven do, and I think that's part reason why I like it. And then I am doing the lower line complete out. Sorry about that, but so first I'm drawing a line downward to the inner corner, create a spike to the triangle shape and then drag it out to the outer corner and not connect in to the upper liner, just drag it out straight and then thicken the outer part and perfecting the line, yes. And then just do exactly the same on the other eye and out the camera as well. And still with the gel eyeliner and cave in the inner corner of the curl crease. Pearl's curl crease style is quite unique because she do a lot of this style that kinda opposite to how we usually would do with the curl crease is that she deepen the inner corner the most and diffuse it, fade it out to the outer part. And so that's what I'm doing and then just diffusing the line with a black eyeshadow from Matte Cold Carbon. Then go back to the small blend brush and use the Essence Purple we used earlier and deepen out the inner corner more. Then I'm going to with the white gel eyeliner to fill in the gap we create on the inner corner down there. Then I cover the white liner with a sparkly pale blue that create a shining corner. I feel like this is the pearl's most signature. 
then I'm moving to the eyebrow. I noticed that Pearl do a lot of shimmer brows and use a gold liner to cover all over my actual brow hair. Then moving to the brow kit, use the darker ash brown to cave the bottom line of the brow and the brow have a very archy and very rounding shape, brow shape so just cave it and sink in the tail a little bit then move back to the MAC palette and use the golden color cut a storm to cut the front part of the eyebrow and then move to the Sahara dust again to highlight and make it more three dimensional and then I also strongify the bottom line with carbon again that's eyebrow down. So go to a Sahara dust highlight the brow bone area. And this is a white eyeshadow, it's sugar pills taco. And then mix it with the Sahara dust to further highlight the part under the eyebrow and the inner corner. So here is how I make her done and so a lot of part of the camera but okay you can still see how it is. So I'm just applying two pair of up lashes. One is more further, one is more spiky. And I cut a pair of button lashes into two and angle it out a little bit on the outer corner of the upper lash and angle it a little bit down on the lower lash to make my eyes appear even bigger. So that's complete eye makeup and let's move on to the contour And there's a lot of contour and it's a jack look So I use a NYX palette TAS31 It's called Copacabana I have no idea what does that mean anyway First I'm take a big brush and just squeeze it into a sharp shape And use the darkest color here to cave out the cheekbone and then I'm using the bronzy color in the middle blending out and there's a lot of blending going on I also have a very unique contour shape it's that she drag her contour not toward the mouth but toward the chin so you see it's going very down and we saw a very sharp cheekbone shape get rid of any product still on the brush and then just blend out even further then doing the same create the beige rainbow on the forehead I mean if you don't have a beige rainbow on the forehead you're not doing jack then go to the palette TS03 and use the color nude to further blend in the color into nothing then use the medium color top and with a bigger flat shadow brush to come to her nose. Just follow where the cut crease ends and go straight down to your tip. Then create a little dot there in the tip. I think, yeah, we can call it raven tip. Yeah, also highlight it is the white eyeshadow just very gently I'm using the nude color again um, to highlight my cheek with a triangle shape on the whole cheek area and under the cheek contouring and on the chin and mix it, the nude color with the white eyeshadow taco and further highlighting it even more Then just move to the lip, I'm using a sparkly purple liner to line my whole lip first by creating a very rounded shape unlike the outer corner of your bottom lip make it very, very pouty and rounded then just fill it in completely with the liner and then go above your upper lip line 
and also again create a very rounded shape with a rounded cutie ball and rounding out the corner. And using Catavan D study lipstick and using the pink color sexier on the inner lips. And the fuchsia purple wonder child fill the other part and blending them together. And that's the finished lip. I'm moving on to the actual reason I'm doing this is that the titties, yes, because I want to join some pearl titties. So I'm just put on some foundation to, to create a more even base on my chest and I just realized how much darker my face is than my chest so I'm putting a little bit lighter concealer to even it out a bit and still <laughs> come out very dark and going back to the NYX palette TSO3 and use the dark brown to draw the carriage and then blending out with taupe. First, I'm just using the same big brush to bring out the top color. to just further out the dark brown and make the blending very even and smooth. Then just go back with the dark brown to sharpen the curvature line again. Then go into with the light concealer, and this is the part where it will really bring the boobs out to bring the contrast of the courage and the power of your chest. And also then use the color new mix with a little bit white to further highlight it. some TD and yeah you're done this is the finished look yeah and you can see I'm really feeling the boobs and also I really feel this contour shape fits my face a lot so I may dub it into my usual makeup I think thank you for watching hope you enjoy this and as usual comment subscribe like all the good stuff and yeah perfect what else do you want to put on pro face if you don't want to make some pro face? And see you next time. Bye bye.